All right, I'm gonna count us down. I'm gonna introduce us to the show. All right, awesome. <clears throat> Let's do this. All right, Hang on, about 20 seconds. All right. Okay. I'm gonna pull up my bracket just in case we have to talk about competition. Oh, dude. That... Okay. All right. All righty, welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to the uh, the very premiere right, right here on on YouTube for the So to Speak podcast. I am your host, Mister Uncle. Welcome to my welcome to my new show. I apologize, folks. I know I know we were supposed to have a, the premiere on Monday, but it was some schedule, scheduling conflicts. But that's all right. But anyways, welcome to the show. Allow me to reintroduce myself again. I I I am the incomparable Mr. Uncle here, and join to me join to me tonight uh, is is my ver- is my very first guest. Please welcome Marcus Pono. Hey man, what's up? What's my name up, is Marcus? Uh oh, how are you, man? I'm dude, dude, I'm, dude, I'm doing I'm doing good, man. How- oh, actually, well, good, well, good good is just my is, one, is usually my my bullshit answers, but like. <laughs> But but I'm I, but my bro my abs are or actually my not abs but like my my freaking abdominal is just sore just just learning guard retention tonight like holy crap yeah there's a six pack under there we got you we got it <laughs> that's true <laughs> that, that's true uh but man it, it's crazy but anyways uh so Mark Mark for those who don't know who 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 Marcus is your um. I I met I met this I met this guy um, several several uh, actually 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 about li- literally the first time I think we met and we actually rode uh, literally like about a month ago um, over yeah. over over at um over at uh, Tank's place at, at VIP Tires at the um, the other UFC and um, and it it was it was honestly a very distinct honor to to roll with you and to hear that my my. To hear that um my my defense was like um <laughs> no, yeah. some, something else yeah you're because i mean dude, you're really hard to submit i i mean every time i roll with you or um i mean you, you don't give it easy <laughs> i'll tell you that it's not easy to submit not to submit you you're always hiding your elbows playing tight elbows and um the transition you don't give me easy transitions and yeah man your game is coming all together bro thank you thank you i mean it's a I, i'd say i always like to look at i don't know for, re, for for whatever reason i always try to look at like a work in progress in, mm-hmm. if they ever like like comes to like technique and whatnot so um yeah i know i, I know i kind of i kind of I, I i know my my my, my defense out if there is one way to like kind of like describe that defense i would probably say it's like um and it's it, tight it's tight that it's in, it's um that it's like uh i don't say i don't want to i don't, don't want to have that kind of ego like i don't want to have the ego is like it's on another it's on another level i would say it's like it's there <laughs> yeah it's a work in progress but you know just like any other bjj practitioner it's just um defense is just as important as an offense you know so I mean, man, it's good that you're focusing on your fundamentals. And I mean, man, I was horrible. I, I used to hunt sniper submissions, man. I used to look just for arm bars when we're I'm not even in prime position yet. <laughs> Dude, even 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 my arm bars are even even my my own arm bars are, are just like um I, I can I can say this uh, I can critique this because I know I can I can self critique this and say this like with with truth. My, my arm bars are pretty are pretty um garbage. Nah, it's not. Just mini just mini micro adjustments and hey man, you'll open another door. It's it's there. I don't know cuz for, for whatever I guess like I guess like for like you know whatever reason like I know I like I feel like I got it. Like I like I like the sec the second like the second I'm about to like like sit, I'm like 
I'm like, I'm I'm like, as if I'm stand, standing at standing at like the three point line, but by Mr. Oh, by Mr. Shot kind of thing. I was like, oh, but nah. <laughs> And and I and I and I and I do and I do hear I, I do I do hear it from um like I do hear it from like from uh Jesse um uh, uh Kyle and Robin and Robin sometimes Robin quite a, quite a lot but I, I I understand like their you know their their methods or their not their methods but their their ways of, like so yeah their setups and you know and yeah everybody has different setups as as far as like even the most simplest armbar setups um like certain people go s mount armbar or maybe they'll ride up to a high mount then then sit up go for armbar you know or maybe armbar and they're doing the um they're locking their hands and instead instead of doing an armbar they'll go for um mount a triangle they insert their far side leg into the far side shoulder and they'll go ahead and start stitching up for even a even a regular triangle with the guy kind of bucks forward and rolls you on, on on your back you know and everybody has different setups it's pretty interesting it is and then like and then i i think i i'm starting to notice like a very like i um like a very common setup that I, a common setup i do because if i'm in your if i'm in if i'm in your guard and i'll i'm and i purposely swim just to dub just to um not double it um double under you Double, double, double under, double under, pass you, because what? Because my, because right now, right now, I, I kind of see the pieces coming together where it's like, I'll right. double under you, and then I'll, I'll just, I'll like pass either left or right, and then um, go into side control, and then, if I'm lucky, if I, if I'm, now lately I, I've been, I've been kind of getting lucky with, with I've been, I, I've been kind of getting lucky with, with, with the neon belly into full mount, or I just, or I just uniquely just full mount someone and then w what i'll do is if they're kind of like um like kind of going like this like like kind of like like pressing pressing their hand like this like um i'll i'll kind of work their arm just so i can like get it back get it back this way on the ground uh -huh. and then I'll, I'll i'll try and then i'll set up for like a kimura and and then just go for the tap and which honestly that shit's been working like like arm huh that that shit that shit's been like well, uh, I'd say not ninety percent of the time. I'd say maybe like if I'm being honest, like maybe maybe like fifty percent of the time. Mm -hmm. At first it was like it was like a good ninety. But I was like, but then when like uh, when other people uh, when other people was wrong, started to figure it out, like oh sh okay, okay that, that mean that means okay I gotta I gotta I gotta I gotta think of I gotta think of on the fly like. A new one, <laughs> a new a, setup. A new, like a new setup. Like oh, okay, everyone's start, everyone, everyone's starting to catch on to this one. Okay, <laughs> but man, yeah, I feel you on that. Like, like you, you get what, you get what I mean. You get, you get what I mean. Like, er, er, like you you kind of go you, you kind of have that that um that go that that go to spot. Yeah, you, your your own bread and butter techniques and um like. Most people will play guard as their bread and butter. You know, they'll go, they'll go ahead and play sweeps, open guard, open guard sweeps, or regular submissions from the close guard, stuff like that. Or maybe um, your bread and butter, your bread and butter is maybe over under passing, uh, diving, um, diving straight in to the over under position, being tight. Or maybe um, you know you like to do toriando passes or stomp passes. Um, all this kind of stuff, you, whatever you learn day one, you keep with you for your for the rest of the journey. I and I agree with that. You know, I, I've 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 kept um, what is that? Close guard flower sweeps <laughs> or close guard scissor sweeps uh, ever since I started. <laughs> um, and then Delhi Heva, I learned as like really basic open guard stuff, and I'm like, man, I I still keep it. I, it's like it's like a safe haven, I guess, for most. Uh, for most jiu-jitsu practitioners i guess the their bread and butter it's a yeah. safe haven for, because they know they know hey you know what i'm good here i'm gonna stay i'm gonna stay here work my game let's see if he can get out they get out then oh, okay shoot i gotta transition <laughs> i gotta transition to something new <laughs> man and then some sometimes and then some sometimes like um 
so, sometimes like like uh for instance like for for instance like with um with robin right like yeah i have to i i i have to i have to make sure um like I, I know I know I know I know I know he's I, I know he's older and he, 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 met, he mentioned he mentioned this to me when we were rolling like I thank you thank you for thank you for being uh, thank you for um you, I don't know well th- this is kind of a rough rough what he was saying but like thank you for not like you know smashing me all the way but if if you if if, if I if you if I if you're smashing me like I will let you know like right away because me like I don't like to like fully like smash people because yeah. I look at like smashing people. Okay, yes, it it okay in in the in in the the ideal game, I can see like how that how it would um how how it's like beneficial and how you you would dominate the game. Uh huh. But but in, in a much more realistic more much more but to me it's like sure smashing people is is good but you kind of like um i kind of have to i i, I kind of had to like slow down and like dial it back down because i don't want to just like smash them because because i because i i want to be on that same because be on that same um learning level with people right you kind of like to tone it down um so so like see if you were a purple belt you know and you're rolling with a like a, a blue belt or maybe like a really high ranking white or lower ranking white it's it's good that you like to dial down um to match match the speed it's um it's pretty generous so yeah no, i i know that's a that's a that's another thing that people um tell me like oh phil you're too generous you give you give your back too much thanks <laughs> <laughs> thanks <laughs> thanks, <laughs> thanks Dang. you know yeah, I don't mean it, but you know, uh, just 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 giving you a little hint that you can choke me out, you know, and take my back. <laughs> Thanks, but man, but, any- but anyway, I I got I got I got to ask you I got I got I got to ask you like, when and where did you like begin your journey? Like, walk me, I guess like walk walk me walk me through that like like, how did you find a school or I guess like, what. What drove what what drove you your um what 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 got what got what what got you what what got you to do it? Oh man, that's a very good question. Okay, so um, I started at UAU uh Ulua Ulu. It is a private jujitsu academy. It was at my old it was at my high school actually, um before I graduated, um and I stayed there for a solid two two three years. And then um, COVID happened, and you know we they didn't even open up yet. And you know, I mean, not that that's bad. You know, just it's good to stay cautious. Of course. Um, and so, actually, what made me do jujitsu is my um, fascination with martial arts in general. Um, I figured that man, martial arts has changed a lot of people's lives. Um, you know, and if it if it can genuinely save. Um, certain people's lives get them out of bad habits um meet new people and open new doors and new opportunities you know my my dream one day i want to do the same um you know it's it's not that i'm just saying it promoting it and doing it for money or i'm not just saying it promoting it and you know i fall i fall short i want to truly help and impact someone's life change it and hopefully they do the same and it would be a big snowball effect that's kind of my plan um as far as my jiu-jitsu journey goes because i've i've seen changes you know i've seen um people grow better habits and open new doors to stuff that they wouldn't even think that they'd be doing right now um to me it amazes me you know and some people you kind of just do it for hobbies you know it's good to it's good to get a good workout jiu-jitsu is definitely (laughs) a really good workout man i like I don't know, if bro. One hundred ten percent. I agree. Like that, jujitsu is <laughs> one big workout, <laughs> and um, I mean, at the time, um, to be completely honest, I was battling some um, some mental things, and I wasn't having the best time, you know. And jujitsu kind of got me out of that, and got my mind off of it, and, you know. I got physical, and I started working out, um. 
but yeah, that's kind of my motive. I really wanted to help people and I really wanted to better myself. I wanted to be better than what I was yesterday. Um, and to really prove uh, that I can, I can get out of the ditch, you know, I can get out of um, what I'm doing right now. And, you know, I can, I can make myself better. Um, so those two things of being better and helping people drove me to start jujitsu. Um, during my journey at UAU, though, uh, to kind of go back on track, um, where is um where where is U UAU? Uh, Ulua Ulu is a private academy at oh. Anue Anue, um, at Anue Anue High School. We were at a we were at our high school. They um they moved from HMA, um, from Justin Breedy. He moved from HMA and he kind of opened up shop at Anue Anue, my old high school. Um, and they were cool. They were cool. COVID happened though, and you know, uh, is this, is they didn't really open side? up. No, in Palolo Valley. Oh, Palo oh, Palolo Valley. Oh, shit. yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Had some really interesting people. Um, each with like different games. So you kind of got a blend out of um, the whole jujitsu game. You know, one guy played lockdown. Um, or one guy would play a really good open guard. Um, Justin was just kind of. He, of course, he's black belt, bro. He he was good at everything. He he could he could do anything at all at all and at any time. He had really good pressure too. Um, but yeah, I followed them for quite a bit. Um, not too long though. Um, just just enough, I guess, like two to three years. Um, and then um, yeah, I went to compete with them too. We went to Naga. Um, Dude. yeah, Naga twenty nineteen. Um. <gasps> So, it was in October, I believe. Yeah, and that was my very first competition. If you don't mind me kind of talking about that too. Wait, is this is this wait is this Naga the one the one in the picture you sent me? Oh no, that's Grappling Industries. Oh, that's that was grappling, grappling Industries. Yeah, this one is um local. So this one's local. Uh, Naga is um, yeah, they they came local. They were at Roosevelt that year. Oh, um, I, I always keep saying Radford. Oh, oh no, they 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 always go. Um, sometimes they held it at Mililani um they went milani high school they held it in a gymnasium um oh, but roosevelt was yeah i went to the one that was in roosevelt that year um i fought at 145 i waited in 139 it was so weird <laughs> and they still let me go so i was like oh okay <laughs> might as well so oh, what the hell i think the weight difference is nine to ten pounds that's why oh uh, that's what so i mean you could cut you could easily cut if you wanted to or or go up a weight class um i think that's the weight difference nine to ten or eight to nine i'm not sure but i know it's massive <laughs> jesus um so i didn't do good by nogi round <laughs> it's it's you know, my as a first comp like as my first competition you know they always tell you hey you gotta listen to your coach you know you gotta make sure you um play your game just have fun you know they're always telling me have fun man it's so hard to hear my coach <laughs> <laughs> you know, get the get the mom in the the bleachers yelling, "Ah, rip his head off!" <laughs> you know, and then, you know, get some get some dads over there like, "Come on, boy, here we go. We train for this. Here we go. Do this, do that." You know, and, and porting then you're and then the last, you know, get the crowd too cheering and all the teams, and then the last thing you hear is your coach. Can't even you just see his lips moving. You don't even know what he's saying sometimes. Armor, armor! Oh no! Wait, trip, trip, trip! <laughs> or shield, shield! Yeah, yeah, I know. You're kind of like, oh, okay. He's like, hey, I think um. So my nogi match, I did an illegal triangle. So in the rule set, I guess um, I should have listened. Uh, you're not supposed to do a triangle without the arm and shoulder inside, because I guess it'll stop. I mean, they're saying it's dangerous, right. and so I didn't know. So I was like, you know, in the heat of the moment. I just launched my legs up and I just started triangling the guy's head without arms inside. So I was holding it and my coach was yelling, unhook the head. And in, in a video, you can hear it. Um, and then I couldn't though. <gasps> so after that, um, the ref tapped me. He was like, hey, hold it for longer. You'll get DQ'd. So I look at him and I go, what? So I let go. But then the guy passes my guard. So I was like, oh, okay. So I work from side mount. You know, I'm playing around. Um right. You know, and I, he holds me there, neon belly. He scored nine points on me this match. It was pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, I get my guard. I get my guard back. You know, I'm trying to work. I I did a um, 
very very simple trap and roll you know he mounted me um because he took me down so that's two for the ankle pick uh two for the ankle pick uh two for the guard pass that's four and after that i'm not sure how he scored the other two um or the other the other five but after that he um yeah i got my close guard back i tried to i kept working but in the heat of the moment you start to forget everything like oh, um shit. you start to forget literally everything that you've worked for the whole i guess the whole half a year or like four months you've been working or the two months you've been working at it i don't know i i think it's just me <laughs> um but so yeah i lost that match 9-0 by points um my next match was 145 in the gi division yeah Dude, um props props to you, sorry props props to you for like um doing both gi and no gi honestly my no gi is so raspy <laughs> it is so so rusty dude i like i'll go um i'll go like deep half i'll right. just hide or i'll you or like you know my open guard because you know, there's no there's no lapels there's no collar to to really stall him and hold hold him down you know um so my de La Hiva, my ex is extremely weak i think it's just got to train more in the nogi but um so the next match though was my gi match um i was kind of comfortable because i kind of knew my attacks i started to mentally prep myself for this one so that way i didn't forget um so this one from here i grab his call uh, we were you know slap bump i finished him by uh a, i think it was a triangle and then he he wouldn't tap so i hyper extended his arm kind of like a dead orchard yeah um in a way so we were kind of going at it i swept him um i it was actually three to two <laughs> with Whoa. 30 seconds left and i was uh, i was laughing i was smiling because like dude I, I, the vibe there i guess in competition some of it right um some of it is competitive but some of it isn't so Whoa. um this, this, uh, is, this is in naga still yeah so like the vibe there though as naga is super super good you know um the vibe is just chill you know and um actually what are your uh have you been at competition before no actually okay so here's the thing like so last year when like naga was announced and stuff like i i i told i told um or i i i told chris or actually chris actually uh coach chris was like Ask or ask people to like raise their hand if if they're gonna if they want to compete at Naga this year and I and I and I I straight raised my hand and said I want it, but then, uh, COVID happened. I'm like, fuck. Yeah, bro. I mean, I was, COVID kind of ruined a lot of things. I dude. I I I was like I was well okay. I I okay. I'm I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here, but. In a way, like, cause, cause um, Naga wasn't gonna happen until April of that year. If I if I if I remember correctly. Mm, and, yeah, right. yeah, you're right. Um, yeah, so it, like, I believe it, yeah, it was April that it was gonna happen April of the year, but then, um, the guys at Naga they kept pushing back the date, pushing it back, pushing it back until the point it was like, okay, it was just canceled. Oh. <laughs> And then, hmm. um, I honestly like I had a I had a huge missed opportunity to go check out um, Triple Crown. Oh yeah, they have good competitions there. They have really good um, good comp there. So like, um, so I, I I had the I had I had the I had the missed opportunity to go yeah to like legit go go check out um, Triple Crown. I'm like oh, and um and and, and I should have I should have went I should went you know checked it out you know kind of kind of like. Um, put my like really like put myself in that in that vibe or in that um environment like 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 to kind of like get that feel that to understand like like this is this is the thing that i'm gonna be like i'm gonna i'm gonna be doing like or this this is the kind of thing i i'm i'm gonna step in i'm gonna step myself in step myself into so but yeah um i was yeah, I had a missed opportunity to, to do it. And now, like, um, now that we're in the, uh, 
tier four. <laughs> tier four, yeah. You can have plus five people at your gathering now. <laughs> right? Like so I so I'm I'm like I follow like the um the Instagram pages of Triple Crown and Naga and Oh yeah. Triple Crown Triple Crown has been has been teasing their stuff a little bit. Yeah, hinting at it. They're, 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 they're hinting at it, but I'm like Where's, where's where's the where's the where's the date where's the announcement where, where's it, where it's gonna be like <laughs> like i want like i like i legit i legit want in mm-hmm. i i want i want in like it because it's because it sucked last year because okay when i started my journey i was a pretty i was i was honest to god like a really like heavy dude like i was i was i was with i started this journey when when out when i was literally at like 268 pounds right right and um like and this was back in like 2019 when i started so Mm -hmm. fast forward to like 2020 like march of that year i was already i was already down like 235 pounds oh so yeah, I, I went. I went through. I went through. I went. Through, I went through quite. A, quite. A, I went through. Uh, quite. Quite a bit that time, man. And that's for you, man. Yeah, because how my. I guess like how my my journey started too was like, um. I I attend I attended the the no gi classes at at, for, at first, and then I because I, I was I was just I was just doing like no gi, like no no gi for 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 about like three months in. And then, um, right. I was, I was, I remember I was, I was weightlifting at the time. I was, I was weightlifting at the time. And then I saw the, I saw the Friday 6 p.m. Um, just cl- or the gi class. I'm like, and then, uh, when I was, when I was, when I was, I just put my headphones, I just put my headphones down. And then, um, I easily just kind of like spun. And then I saw Coach Chris. Oh, it hey, was up, Coach Chris. And, and he's like, sniffing. When, when, when are you, when are you gonna get your, your gi? I'm like. My gi. Oh, I, <laughs> sounds like something you'd say. <laughs> like, oh, um, and then I, I, I didn't know how to, resp- I didn't know how to, re- I didn't, like, I didn't know how to respond to. It. I was, I was, just, I was like, um, I, I guess whatever, whatever I, 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 you know, I muster up and save up the money. But when, when, I, when I, cause, cause later, cause later on, right after my workout, I went, I went to go look at, I went to go look at the gi prices. I'm like, fuck. Oof. <laughs> yeah you're kind of like ah, oh, like, that, like that, that's gonna hurt <laughs> like you're like do you remember your first time when, when you when, like like after, when you saw like ghee prices that like that expensive like fuck truth be told i was like i went to amazon <laughs> i went to amazon bro i was like and i searched i because everyone's like yeah show your is the best show your is the best i look at show like oh i don't know if my 14 15 year old self can afford Two hundred thirteen dollars worth of geese. So I went on Amazon and searched up cheap BJJ geese, and uh, Sana Bull popped up, and they're like uh, sixty bucks. <laughs> um, but lucky though, my first gi uh, was a hand me down, a hand me down from um, Chuck Dominguez. He's he's a black belt. No, uh, he's a blue belt. He's oh, a no four shirt blue belt, and he he helped me a lot my jiu-jitsu journey he got me in uh he helped me get into techniques and train there just for a little bit and he helped me um because he found out that i was training and so um my mom she actually he actually works with my mom my mom's kind of like oh yeah my son started doing jiu-jitsu he's been doing it for at least a year now and then so he goes is that so (laughs) so the first time i roll with him i get like you know durst (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah <laughs> and he's like he's like you're gonna be good with that i was like i can't tell you just smashed my lights out dude <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> so later on that day he's um uh he comes he comes and he kind of delivers uh a bag of geese so there's like two of them um and it was like ruka shoyro collab and there was control industries <gasps> and oh, he I was wanna, like i want to score one of those man he was like good luck on your journey and i t- to this day i still have those geese <laughs> i still have them and like 
man, they I, they serve a really great purpose, and they look um and because he and I are the same size, so A twos or A ones. Um, I'm actually a I I snugly fit in an A zero, A one. It can kind of droop to my thumb. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I I. Bro, I, I learned I learned that lesson the hard way when when I I learned that lesson the hard way um when I bought an A4. Yeah, dude, I was like, so I I have one, another one of my geese too. I thought I could fit into it, a like an A2F. Um, it was basically just an A1. <laughs> Damn. Because I like the fitted size. Yeah. I love the fitted size. But yeah. Oh man, I can't believe I bought that. <laughs> but yeah, the, the first game they got were hand me down, so I was super lucky. Oh man. Dude, my 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 first key um I bought um I, I remember too. It, it was the um it, it was the yeah, it was the uh the, the camel green from um the, the camel green UFC gym. But I think it was a it was a collaboration or it was it was from uh King's Kimono. Um it was it was a it was a king's collab you have yeah it was, oh interesting it was, yeah it was a it was a king cl- collaboration with ufc gyms i'm like oh cool and then um i remember too because that i remember i remember too because i okay i had i had like i had zero knowledge buying the gear. oh oh like, yeah neither did i <laughs> i didn't know what to do i don't know no i don't know what to do either because because i because I, I was i was trying to understand the number i was trying to understand like the numbers okay a4 is for 265 pounds pounders right uh but, yeah and then, but well, when i when i, when I go try it on i was like no this thing is way too big like like the pet like we you, like the the pant size like i had like i could fit like both my arms going into like that thing's way like Oh, the length too. The length must be pretty bad for you too. It was, and and it, it was because like every time in class, like my my first like like several months in class, like I was like, um, I was tripping, like, like, I I was I was, like, if there was like any like um, rare footage of of me like doing drills, like anytime like anytime I trip, it would sound like a cartoon noise, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah the um only later i started to find out that there was different sizes like fitted husky um and a zero zero like i didn't even know that existed up uh, until like later on oh me too ditto Did, ditto on that i bought um but later on in my journey i bought an a zero um, I, f- I snugly fit into that, and um, man, though sometimes like geese sizes just mess me up, though, because it depends on the company too. The manufacturer, yeah, like, because like uh, Shoyro geese, they kind of run big. So I bought a uh, I bought an A1F from them, and they, they, I sn- I snugly fit into those. It's perfect. It's not too tight, not right. too loose. Um, or say like like I don't I I don't know if uh control industries i'm not sure that some of their geese kind of run longer um or uh day by day too day by day they um they're tapered tapered just enough which i like so that means they're a1 the length is perfect and it's not um it's not swimming into my my knuckle area like i don't look like a little kid in it (laughs) (laughs) oh i i gotta i gotta tell you and and i'm and uh folks just so you know we're, we're not we're not sponsored by we're not we're not sponsored by uh this podcast is not yet sponsored but if you like to come sponsored let me know but anyways <laughs> um what i i you probably you probably see me uh, recently but i i I, pur- I purchased um the the daily 2021 from day by day the blue one right the yeah. blue one you know you know you know you said earlier that thing was just like it, it was it was perfect like s- like snug right to the fit yeah holy fuck <laughs> yeah they're geese like so i was introduced to it uh later on in my jiu-jitsu journey by uh mike he he's um really close with aj uh he's the the founder and the whole big boss of uh day by day you know he runs that stuff um and 
um he kind of introduced like yeah i have a gi over here you know discounted price you know would you like to try it out and i said yeah you know what yeah i'm running low on those um and i train at least five days out of the week um at least five five six like five to six you know i leave one rest day to yeah. kind of drill or kind of rest my mind because you need something other than jiu-jitsu you know you, you really do you know you got right. family and and um but yeah um but yeah other than that yeah day by day has the best snug fit keys in my opinion amen and especially their dailies too their dailies are built for like battles man like i don't know like you could have some like real tough battles with uh, some of their keys and like they'll stay intact for you to use it to work for another day <laughs> speaking of, speaking of which like i kind of i kind of wish they were stocked on this but i i bought the the day by day um collaboration beer with beer lab this thing. all the beer lab code yeah 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 this was so fucking good and and this was so brilliant too this is an empty can <laughs> I, I don't know why i have an empty can in my hand but damn collectible worth Collecti- it <laughs> yeah it's, it's collectible but you know no but you know no but the this thing was so the when i when i saw the increase like oh that is that is fucking brilliant clever yeah very clever and like, wow. their geese to the color scheme look pretty nice i like the color scheme on it dude i'm i'm digging i'm digging the um your the, this one in the picture the your your blue and yellow one oh i love that one that's the the hyper the that's the light one the competitor light yeah um so i think another one of my older i think um yeah i used to train where i used to train uh gracie legions they had a lot of um day by day or people that kind of bought from them and one of them i guess one of the people they had a the like the black one and i was wondering because if this competitor light fit me and tapered me from wrist to ankle i was wondering if it do the same and you know she's the same size with me and i was like oh wow she got an a0 and i was like man it's perfect it's like and it's fitted it's as if because for geese to be fitted onto you you got to use them you got to wash them sometimes you got to dry once what the pants or the or the the top and just for them to be even and 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 being tapered to your body mm. um man it's just day by day has some really nice geese especially since they're tapered that competitor hyperlight is a little lighter um i'm not sure if that's the name sorry but uh <laughs> the yeah. But yeah that competitor that competitor is really good especially like i like light geese or like kind of lighter geese there's a venom hype there's a venom 2.0 um it's uh one of the geese that mikey musumichi uses <gasps> oh it's dude really i light. dude i i i am so, dude i i i watched I recently watched the um who's number one um i think it was this past Friday Ooh. from this yeah, past yeah, yeah. friday i'm a fuck i am i'm now officially a, a fan of mikey musumichi yes sir hop on the mikey train my friend like at, you like even like after his even after his match like when he when he told when he, when he told we after his match he, he told the um the the interviewer is like so or the interviewer was asking like so how 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 so how how would how would you rate, how would you rate your rate your match tonight? And then Mikey, like, like in the most humblest way possible, he says, "Oh, I'll give I'll give myself a three out of 10 I'm like, <laughs> "That's a, all that, right, <laughs> like, all right." I I like this. I, this is this is some, <laughs> that's some that's some humble that is humble as humble as fuck. Like, uh, and then and then I I look at myself for like, you know what? My rules has been has been kind of one out of ten lately. <laughs> <laughs> After like you know demolishing and becoming number one in in the bantamweight division, yeah, I guess that's a three out of ten. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> could, uh, I could finish him in like under ten seconds, but nah, it's all right. <laughs> like, like I like like for a while like I was I was like for a while I, I was I was I was starting to become like a huge fan of like guys like Gordon Ryan, um, Craig Jones, Gary Tonin, and. Oh they're they're really fun to watch bro i love watching them like well especially 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 craig jones like like locks for days man and and um i um i saw i saw it on i saw it on um bdg fanatics um his like his um his video on leg locks i'm like oh shit like 
that that right there is some like next le like what what he's doing with leg locks and shit is like it looks basic for, for from 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 the you know higher belt eye but to me it's like bro that's some that's some that's that's some next level shit right there you know yeah man it's like another uh group of uh people i, I like to watch the daisy fresh crew um Ooh. so andrew will see you know jacob uh jacob couch the you know the hillbilly hammer yeah uh bird bird will see and his bird lock um dude those guys are nuts and they live out of the gym they live out of the gym they train three times a day some of them you know they, they work you know just to kind of keep themselves on their feet um but man they go hard even at practice they go hard like they're gonna kill each other but dude after that it's all love but andrew wiltsy recently um when he fought i like watching his passing his buzzsaw passing um it's a dvd on bgg fanatics i gotta i might look into you know watching some clips and... i think i think i think i think i saw the i think i i you know it's funny I, I always get the ads from from BG, bg fanatics and i see like oh okay <laughs> okay and then to, I, I look the... at i look at it like should I buy it? And then when you go look at the, when you go look at the when you go look at the actual price, like, fuck. <laughs> I actually have some. Um, I got. I'm on Jujutsu X. That's another platform. Uh, that's Keenan's. Uh, one of Keenan's platforms for. Um, I guess his all his new, lapel stuff, and he uses that platform along with you know Paulo Miao, um, Andres Budovsky, um all of these guys that have different games so i used i i picked up um on black friday andres brunovsky's gravedigger passing and omoplata um what is that series and then oh, i have shit. keenan's half guard series um and some other stuff but yeah the, th the worst thing about instructionals man you look at it you buy it and then you i have like seven that are unwatched still yet <laughs> dude I, i'm still i'm still i'm still um I, I kind of reference my um this this one from BG BG Fanatics um the Travis Letter the Road to Blue Belt mm. and like like shit dude I, I haven't got I haven't got the volume too I, I well I because it's interesting I, I just download the app on my phone and shit and I I kind of just like watch it just so I can like reference it later true true so I'm but like, um but yeah. But yeah, no, I I use that as reference, but no, but this other the other platforms you mentioned, bro, I, I I I'm I'm gonna be honest right now, I I never even heard of these platforms. Yeah, Jitsu X is a really good uh platform, um, especially for a, a little more on the. I mean, you can find any affordable BJJ DVD, but um, or kind of like downloadable four hour content, but I mean. Especially from one of some of my favorite guys like Paolo Miao and Mikey Musumichi. I mean, Mikey's on BJJ Fanatics, but you know, Keenan, I love his lapel stuff. You know, I love his half guard stuff. Um, you know, he's really innovative and he's really creative about how he approaches Jiu Jitsu in a new way. Um, he's making all this stuff up, you know, <laughs> and like it's, it's new. Um, and sometimes I like to blend it in. Um, nice like, his squid guard lapel stuff i'm still on it like it's like a really tough math problem for me <laughs> you know but it's I i'm eager to learn um or whereas um andres Bunovsky, his grape jigger passing system i'm still on the over under <laughs> you know and dude, there's 24 more steps dude I, dude over over like over unders are over unders for me has been, has like are now are now becoming like that i think I mentioned oh that's a really fun pass yeah like or yeah over unders have, have just been come has like lately became like the my bread and butter for my, I, my my bread and butter passing i try i I try to over under um i i guess i'm just not executing the technique properly but with um i mean as a blue belt now i mean i see it but <laughs> but you know, there's a lot to work on still, and but yeah, dude, Jitsu X has a is a really good platform for most of it. I think they have an app now. Um, you can, there's an app. Oh, yeah, shit. you can down you can download the app. I'm not sure, or if you can just go on Safari, you know, you search up Jitsu X. 
yeah, they have really good stuff. I recommend checking it out. Well, no. I, I well, I I I guess I I guess I I kind of I kind I kind of want to know this like the um your your I guess how um I I guess also kind of like take just walk walk me walk me walk me through the like your your path to blue belt like ooh okay um so in the beginning especially with starting jiu jitsu I thought belts were everything you know I'm like oh no this guy's this belt, bro. He, he's he knows this, this and that. And um, I but in the beginning I thought that that's what I was all about. I'm like, no, you know what? I mean, especially as a as a new blue belt now, any white belt could durst me. You know, with with the right timing technique, anyone can. Um, doesn't really matter if I submit a higher belt or submit or even if I get submitted from a lower belt. You know, um, but with me, I. Like at least two years into it, I was like, okay, you know what? I'll just cruise through my journey. I'll enjoy my time at white belt. And my ex, my my older professor said, hey, enjoy your time at white belt. You better realize that. And I'm like, oh, and he's kind of getting on me for that. I'm like, what are you saying now? Because, dude, now I understand. <laughs> There's, um, because as a blue belt, you're expected to know. You know, yeah. you have color on your waist now. You should know basic setups. You should know your fundamentals. Your basics should be fresh. Um, but man, dude, if I could go back to white belt, <laughs> this is, it's just, it's tough. I mean, I mean, it's not as, as tough as, as, you know, it's just a belt, you know, it's just the thing that holds up your gi. Uh, so that way it doesn't come loose. Um, but the getting to blue belt is probably the hardest thing. <laughs> Cause like, you gotta really prove. Um, I mean, or at least where I where I train, you know, I had to really prove it. You know that I knew this technique. Um, you know, I could compete. I, right. I went up to Florida. You know, I could. Com- I went to compete. Um, but I wasn't really chasing it. I was kind of like, it's kind of like just cruising. Like, oh, I got a stripe. All right, nice. All right, cool. I'll just wait for the other one. You know. Yeah. Um, see, cause right, cause right now, cause right now, dude, like I I've been at the mindset. Cause right, um, I'm 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 currently right now, two stripe two stripe white belt like yeah. Like sometimes I I kind of let the my I kind of um my mindset lately has been like, okay I I get like, I I want I want I want to I want to get I want to get to blue like, yeah bro, it's a it's a really hungry mentality, cause like and especially it's good cause um, even after you get blue like. You, after you get promoted after the whole shebang you know you finally got color in your waist you're like i don't think i want to stop <laughs> I, i'm gonna find the next competition dude. where were you at because <laughs> like because that's like that's the thing like um like yeah that, that's that's like that's like the, the weirdest thing for me it's like i want to get to blue build but i, I don't I, I want i want to get to blue, blue build but um like I, I don't want to be like like you know rocket ship up my ass like like that quick like yeah it's um yeah i'm not i was a four-year white belt it was tough <laughs> it was like i spent a long time on on white belt refining i'm a little late late on the blooming but you know it's i mean everything happens for a reason and um i mean i'm willing to take that chance but it's good it's good um i enjoyed my white belt you know it was fun <laughs> it's fun you know i got to compete twice you know and um I got to really train with a lot of people once the Kikoa open mat at least you know once I think <laughs> yeah <laughs> before so, they closed. Wait, you, you said you said you 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 said um you you had you had the chance to like go out and like trap like travel to like uh like to like Florida and to like other states for a competition like and you, you did all that as white belt before before you before you got blue yeah yeah, so my first Naga competition was local, and my second competition um, was at Florida for Grappling Industries. Um, I was a four strike white belt at the time, and I mean, man, it was I was really hungry for it. I really wanted to um, really put my name out there. Um, I mean, regardless if I sucked or if I just you know i if i didn't execute something properly you know i wanted to go up there and fight you know i'm not spending a thousand bucks just to just to lose you know 
like my mentality was okay i'm gonna fly up there have fun win or lose i'm gonna come back and make sure that my duty is fulfilled and i'm just gonna do it again it's um as white belt like i didn't even if it's a white belt i still didn't underestimate anyone i didn't take it lightly you know i I always see eye to eye with everyone and um i respected my superiors it's um that learning belt is probably from white to blue is tough because i mean i really had to um i mean i went to prove myself i went to compete um competing wasn't easy either because i i forgot that competition, I thought it was like elimination process. They were round robin. Oh shit! <laughs> so I had I had uh, five people to roll with, and um, um, or sorry, I had five rounds. Right. It was um five minutes each, and um, I volunteered to have no rest. Um, I volunteered to Bro. really basically just okay. As soon as I'm done, I'll let the next guy go. But if I'm going next and I have back to back matches, I want that. <laughs> I didn't have a coach. Um, uh, my coach was uh, back back here, kind of teaching his classes, and um, and that's not a problem. But you know, I had to. I really had to to really play my game. You know, I had a really strict game plan. My coach and I were kind of um, really emphasizing on points. That's something another as a, as a white belt i didn't realize that points in a competition mm-hmm. is your best friend in a way i mean you can go for kill like hey that's not a problem you know but um i kind of realized that man um going for points is really a good way to go if um um like say you score seven right score seven right. either um at, or say if i'm a wrestler judo guy you know or if I'm a jiu-jitsu guy that's really good at takedowns and pressure pass, I'll I'll take them down regardless, you know, dump single, double, ankle pick, you know, anything, you know, udanage from the back, or maybe um, uh, kochigari, ochigari, anything, take them down. That's two. Pass is guard. That's two. Um, neon belly. That's three. That's one, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven points. Side control, three points. Mount, four points. Take his back, another four. You know, rack it up until he has a minute left and he's forced to come back at you. You know, and from there, hey, you could just you could play, you can just do whatever you like. You can stall, play defense. Sorry, not it's not stall, but you know, you can play your defense. You can um, play a, a no risk submission. A no risk meaning like you know you don't want to give up position in the right. middle of doing your sub. Like a fall over arm bar, that's probably giving up submission because I'm going from the mount all the way to the bottom, but I still have it at arm and say if it failed. Sure. <laughs> And now he's on me, and now he takes my back. <laughs> so, yeah, that's another thing. Yeah, uh, it, it's fun. You know, it's it's funny because, um, like, uh, a couple weeks, couple weeks ago, like, um, I think I think it was on, I think it was on a Friday. So there were th- so so there was an, there was an open there was an um, command day up op- open mat and shit. Oh wow, interesting, interesting. At at, uh, at UFC gym, right? And then I was like. I don't want to come, and and then I just I, and then I decided, fuck it, I'll call out sick. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it, I'll, I'll, I'll call out, I'll call I'll call out sick for work just just for this. So yes, sir. So I I called out sick. So I called out sick, and 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 then I I, I legit I legit went, went to open mat that day, and then I I went I went to go I went to go roll with um, with with Co- with Coach Chris right, and. Then, mm-hmm. Um, he, he and he, and he remember. Oh, dude, dude, I forgot. I, 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 happy happy belated birthday! And then we started to roll. Like, okay, so what do you want, Phil? Okay, uh, twenty twenty twenty. Um, wait, what do you what do you what do you want? Okay, um, or actually, actually, he's asking me. Like, oh, okay. So, how, so so you so you want so you want to see um uh twenty 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 eight point um twenty eight points. Okay, so he does so he does everything going for twenty eight points like. Like he, like he took my back, knee on knee, knee on belly me, like <laughs> like twice, and then he like, and then when he knee on belly me, he um he did he he knee switched. Oh yeah, he knee switched, and which I don't know if that's um. I don't, Some I don't, guys, what you can do is um, is, is that, they'll is, purposely put their they'll 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 purposely put the leg 
back in that in like that quarter guard where they have yeah. your just your ankle and then they'll take they'll purposely knee slice out of it and take it out and put knee on belly again so that's another three <laughs> and in here here i in here i am on i'm on the ground i'm, I'm like i'm like i'm i'm trying i'm trying to like defend it i'm like crap crap and then, like oh and then and then it, it wasn't even until like one minute he like he looks he looks at the clock okay let's, let's see if I, let's see if i can let's see if i can submit you i held my own for for the for that last minute <laughs> i held my own for the last minute just trying to trying to defend dude it is that that must be tough <laughs> that, that must be tough 28 points man or 20 points like holy like holy crap man like i was i was i was just like gone at that point dude i wouldn't i wouldn't know i wouldn't i'd be like because especially as a because i was new when i was new for my first naga i didn't think okay sweep mount chair sit take back i i didn't think i didn't think about that I, I only thought one track mine. I was like, okay, I'm gonna submit this guy, go home and eat Slim Jims and play video games. <laughs> uh, like, <laughs> like that, that's what I thought, and I forgot steps one, two, three, four, five, and six, and I went skip right to seven. <laughs> so that's why I, I almost lost two to three, and I was like, man, I gotta I gotta work on points, man. <laughs> right. It's like... points is. Um, I, I, it opened my eyes. That's really important, you know. And uh, it's oh, ditto, dude. Yeah, ditto, no ditto. It's... That after after that row after that row, after that row with Coach Chris, I'm like, oh shit. Okay, now now I know why. <laughs> now I know why points are, are like super important now. Yeah, man. Like it was. Um, yeah, it was just to me. It was just like, dude, I. I my first round I scored 19-0 and I submitted him. So at at Florida. So I was like, wow. You know, I went for the sweep. I got on top, that's two. You know, I passed his guard, that's two again. Neon belly side control, that's six. If I hold it there for three seconds. You know, mount, that's another four. Take his back, I got my hooks in. He got out. Okay, not a problem. You know, I'll play my guard again. I swept him again got my mount you know and after all of this i see uh like say like a minute half you know and right. i was like wow i have all this time to work now that i'm up in points i can start to submit him just play care just play cautiously i don't because you know even regardless if you're up in points you know it doesn't really matter you got to really you know i i still i still play cautious of course. and man I, I was just firing attacks like you know i was in the closed guard so i was like you know, dragon tail choke, cross collar, loop choke, Ezekiel, um, throwing random attacks out there, make them feel threatened. Um, and I, in some competitions, uh, you get points for a near submission. So say if like we're rolling and I get you cross collar, it's competition, right? And it, and it's super deep, and you're trying to defend it, um, and you get out. Uh, some people rank that as a point on your side, um. Or IBJJF, if you, if you, I'm not sure if this is the rule. Or I think we were talking about it. Um, my my old coach, if you could get advantage by, um, if you guys both pull guard and you guys and one guy stands up, advantage. Or if you're deep in a choke, right, and the guy's trying to defend, trying to get out of the choke, um, advantage for the guy that's doing the choke. Or in some competitions, they just give you the point, one point um so much stuff so much stuff i had to look out for like my mind was just rushing like 500 miles per hour <laughs> it was tough what i i guess like yeah like so i guess i guess i guess like i guess like what one thing like one thing to ask like like you're you're like when you're ro like like when, when you're when you're rolling and shit like you're like your your mind like your whole like your whole mindset just kind of just like separates itself for a bit yeah because like um well say if i was getting ready for competition and i'm two months out three months out yeah then i'm gonna definitely just play tournament style tournament style is just getting your your points up then you go for sub um because you don't want to you don't want to be uh, the only time you kind of go gung-ho and just let all hell break loose is when you're down on points you got a minute left that's when you bust out like hell mary moves like baseball chokes um or maybe um like say like a really risky 
overhook armbar or maybe like a mahi bar from the back. Um, fucking, so I'm sorry, much. I, I fucking hate base, baseball jokes. That thing is painful as fuck. I, so the, uh, I, I like to do. I used to do the collar variation where you oh. go palm down, palm up, yeah. and then you let the guy pass. I, I only now up until um, last year, I started to play lapel variation. So I take the guy's lapel out. So he thinks I'm doing like normal. Um, see like lapel worm guard stuff like that cinching it through through his neck i take the lapel out uh palm down on the lapel on the left side of the neck and after yeah. that i go palm up right side and i kind of hold that baseball grip i don't want to make him look and see my right side or left side or make him feel that my my forearm and the blade of my forearm is on his neck because if he feels that the guy usually just swims out swims out gets his head out or he kind of posts on his neck frames on his neck just starts defending his neck um but if he doesn't see it and he still continues to fight me i'll make like i'm fighting too then i'll just drop my i drop my far side leg on purpose uh, after that the, the more he the more he passes i'll go and i'll turn the opposite way i learned that i learned baseball chokes from a purple battle mine or um not of mine sorry i'm not i'm not a coach yet what, what am i talking about <laughs> but um he taught me how to baseball choke we were rolling for an hour straight, and I didn't know. It went by, it went by like 10 minutes, but it was an hour. So oh, he and I were just going at it. And he always asked me and told me, where's the problem? Where's the problem? Uh, um, Find the problem. You know, find the problem. And <laughs> he's bought up half guard doing the same submission. He catches me all the time with this baseball joke. And I was new as a white belt. Um, I was like a two-stripe white belt at the time, so I didn't know. Oh, shit. So I was like, oh, man, you know, he's choking me out the same move, you know, and and that and especially because baseball choke, if it's stitched up, it's tight. Dude, that you, hurts. Dude, you, you know, you know, who had a really good baseball choke. Um, and this, this is from um, um, our, our, our guys who the guy, the guys at um, VIP tires at, at tanks, please. Uh, remember George? Oh, yeah. The blue belt. Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's my buddy, man. Dude, he is. I love the guy, but that dude is fucking sneaky when it comes to baseball chokes with him. I'm like, he likes um, like his open guard is pretty good. He likes to play like a lot of spider lasso or shallow lasso. I noticed um, that. I, I noticed that because I'm always, I'm always trying to like, I'm always, I'm always like, like he, if he's got like this, right? Like I'm, like always, I'm always trying, like I'm always trying to swim under it. Like I'm, I'm trying to like, <laughs> trying to like swim, like trying to like, like try to swim, swim, un, swim under it. Like oh nope nope george like george and i have like really similar games in a way because he likes to play like lapel x sometimes like he likes to go um x guard and he grabs your lapel and he cinches that he cinches it through the near side leg and you're like confused you're like okay is he gonna sweep me or is he gonna use this to get better position as soon as i post to the ground and then submit me you know it's like his guards really confusing sometimes it's unpredictable there that's the word um and just like how you said he's super sneaky with chokes sometimes he'll try and loop choke me like i I was rolling his garage the the past two weeks um and man he has a really sneaky loop choke his loop choke is really nice um he likes to do a lot of ezekiel ezekiel chokes too like he'll do it from bottom half guard he'll do it from close guard sometimes or if not Hey, when he's fully mounted on you and you feel the forearm coming, um, or behind or on top of your neck, oh yeah. man, that's the sign to bridge, man. <laughs> you got a bridge. You got to get out of there. Oh man, yeah, yeah. Br- bridging, bridging is is also is, is also um, also something I, I need to like get get myself to like muscle like muscle memory with now. Yeah, man, it's like uh. Shrimping has been um, like my best friend when it comes to literally anything, you know, and I always when I was new, I always got stuck in um, full mount a lot. I kind of I don't know. I think I just gave it up <laughs> pretty simple. And so um, I had to kind of develop a shrimp, you know, basic stuff. It just helps me get out of sticky situations. It's just it helps. It really helps, bruh. Um, I, I, I got, 
I got I got I gotta say like two weeks ago two two weeks ago um I fin- finally learned um lockdown the Ooh. Lo- lockdowns yeah lockdowns have been has been my fucking best friend <laughs> like from from half guard yeah from half guard like holy yeah shit. like the second yeah. I, the second I get it in and the second like I'm able to, I'm able to like kind of like scoop my or kind of like scoop the, the person on top of me and try to like scoop their leg underneath has been lockdown my, is has, yeah it's has, has super my, good has been my best friend like like holy crap that thing has been that thing has been like super useful especially trying to trying to get out of someone's half card or or well, actually not not get out of someone's half card or if someone's gonna, if someone's gonna try mount me like I, I will i will i will try to find the most unorthodox way to like to get to see if i can trap trap um trap someone in a lockdown and then just like a second i can just like slide myself enough where i can like scoop the person's leg and just like um sweep sweep afterwards oh boy that like it like that there's thing... so many options dude it's like because there's um yeah because there was a purple belt at the time too he um well he was a four stripe blue uh when i know him he's newly promoted um couple years back um he always did lockdown um go to guard he said it helped him through his blue belt phase um i think my only weakness when i do that i don't know i don't play it really good because i mean those that are good at it they're good at hiding their head because i always get cross face man i like i tried i went deep half right? right you know i did i got my two under hooks and I got the lockdown. I got his knee over my shoulder. I went for vaporizer, um, or sorry, electric chair. Never, you know. He, I I tried to go for the sweep. And then there's also a knee bar. If you sweep him, you can just hyper extend the lockdown. You go, you can go knee bar um, when you're on top. But all these options, and I get stuck because I get I I get cross faced a lot from there. I don't know what it is. I I I think I just gotta I gotta be quicker on the on the draw. I kind of stretch him out um especially when it comes to underhooking him and getting my lockdown hooks in it's really tough bruh um i think it was either i think it was either um tone or tone or tang who who in initially figured out i was i was doing lockdown and i'm like damn you already knew okay so i mean i, I was going for i was going for i was going for anyway and i was going for it anyway but the second thing he was like okay too easy they were just like They'll they'll try hyper hyper extend my leg and then like they'll they'll, they'll squeeze they'll squeeze they'll kind of like put enough pressure where it's like ah oh, damn okay I got I got to let go shit yeah dude like oh well especially just their like you know black belts huh? <laughs> they know oh, you, they know oh, everything dude, even, even, from even, like even before they even before they before they came black belts man like yeah they're super um technical I like their game I try to co- I'm trying to mimic as much as I can. And just enter into my own game, and both of their games are super interesting. I like it. I'll you know, one one's good at you know foot locking, pressure pass, and one's good at inverting, barambolo, uh, open guard, deli heva, spider guard, st- really like you know bottom man stuff. It's both of their games, man. Oh, super interesting to Dude, watch. Dude, um, tones, um, triangle is just like on an. Or no, not tones. Sorry, um, tang's triangle. Cause I remember, um, I remember. I don't, I don't know. If, I don't know if you were there, but there was a there was a match between him and um, Alan Lima, their their original their original sensei. Oh yeah, yeah. And it, um, he, yeah, no. So the thing, so um, Tang had held this held a triangle like super uh, was like going on tight, but like um, Al- Alan was just like. Like he survived it. <laughs> like holy crap! And and and, and I know because I because I still because I still have the footage on my phone because I still have the footage on my phone. Like like they were like they were going like like, like I know because because everyone else stopped rolling because because they're just watching like Tang and um Alan. And I'm like oh shit! And I was and I, and because because I, I, I was filming it too. I was like oh. And I think it was like yep. the, the last couple minutes or last minute and a half or so like, um. I think Tang let go and everyone starts like, 
<laughs> they're like oh man you, you had it you had it in the bag and you, just, you had one job <laughs> nah, 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 nah. but it was just like but no that like that shit's like it was just like holy crap that was that was fucking impressive like yeah what? man i mean like watching that oh. was just like jesus christ yeah man it's like he yeah both of those those men have the in my opinion they have really nice jutsu games i like it i like watching them really interesting to watch oh man just just fly for the tri- just no just just second just, just their honestly both of their triangle game is just like something else the sec- like, like the second you get, like the second i um i get caught in one i'm like oh okay okay i i, I okay time time to come to uh time to start thinking fast here before 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 shit, before shit starts starts to like crumble down, like nope, okay. <laughs> yeah, I I I don't have the best the most confidence in my game. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't I don't have I don't know why I, I have the best confidence in my game, but you know, I, I I'm trying to have confidence. Sometimes I don't even like setting things up just because I know it's not there. But there is a small chance that it is, but I don't want. Sometimes I don't like risking it. <laughs> me too, dude. I feel that, that's that's I, that's me. That's me a lot. Like, 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 like sometimes, like sometimes doing girls and people like ask me, like, do you know, what you're, do you know what you're doing? Sometimes I'm like, nope. <laughs> you know, I, I just, I just, I did the thing, and you know, I, I went up with him, and uh, yeah, I, I think that's how it works. <laughs> like, like, I can remember the technique, but when 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 someone asked me. Like, do you know what you're doing? Uh, and and my my first immediate an- my my first immediate answer would be like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I I think I did, <laughs> but but no, but no, I, no, I did not. But but it, but it doesn't matter. Like, what? Like, I'll I'll just I'll like I'll just like it doesn't matter. Like, I'm 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 learning. Like, I'm not losing. I'm learning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 that, that's like, I, I tell, I, like i tell myself like i'm not losing i'm just learning yeah you know i I let you know in jiu-jitsu too especially because i like i really in my opinion i gotta get tapped as 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 salty as i feel you need it you know especially well unless unless you're you know you can walk on water you have a staff and robe and you know you can announce the future then then maybe then <laughs> you, you, you won't need to get tapped but uh if you don't meet any other circumstances you don't have a robe staff and you can walk on water and announce the future and talk to animals then i'm sorry my friend <laughs> you know like man i i and i like i always get tapped but man you know as salty as i get i have to eat it and say you know what dude i better thank this guy for tapping me so that way i can go out into the you know into competition and just do the same that you know do the same thing it's just I'm Man. thankful that I have a lot of people that push me though. Oh, um, dude. especially at the Twins and um, especially now at UFC gym, like Kelly, you know. Yeah, t- I, talk to me. Talk to me. Um, if I mean, if it's okay with you, but like, talk to me. Like, what? What? I I guess what? 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 What led you? What? In in what ways? Like, um, like I guess like I guess like the the, the time frame like, because I only learned to I only learned um, from our phone call earlier like. What the fuck? How did this happen? Yeah, yeah. It's um. Oh no, it's just, it's it's an interesting interesting story. You know, it's just a simple falling out, and you know, I don't want to um really talk bad on his behalf, but um, but yeah, man. Uh, sometimes things happen, stuff falls out. You know, when people can't meet eye to eye, you know, and that's all right. You know, and um, so yeah, there's like a small falling out. Um, which is not bad. You know oh, things okay. happen yeah and um after that um i was kind of place jujitsu I, I didn't have a jujitsu home as per se right. <laughs> so i went to the twins i was like you know i'm gonna be here extra early on monday is that okay he goes yeah bud just chill upstairs you know it's not a problem you know i went upstairs and the first i'm you know first person person right i'm off the mats <laughs> and then um yeah, I was telling everyone my story, and you know they were just surprised. You know that's all, and um, which isn't bad. You know, there's always two sides, but um, 
yeah, I was placeless for a bit, and everyone was recommending UFC Gym, you know. And I was checking out the rates, and wow, the rates are you know a little cheaper than what I what I was paying. Um, yeah, I was I I I thought that after that I didn't want to train honestly. I thought I was gonna stop because of just how, I mean, that falling out. You know, I thought I was gonna stay there. You know, for the rest of my life. You know, and, be, and take over, and you know, and help out the best oh, as I shit. could. Yeah, I thought I was gonna stop. Honestly, I was I was I was gonna quit, um, especially because I have stuff you know on my side. You know, I have to take care of, you know, my dad. He's not feeling well, and um, oh, he's he, you know you know and he's terminally ill actually, <gasps> which I'm. Um, oh shit, dude! Well, he has cancer, and it's just it's not it's you know I have stuff to take care of here, right. and then I have stuff to take care of um, um you know. I get like, like, school, like school work, you know that. that yeah, kind of, that kind of thing. And in the time, you know, I got a new job recently. You know, oh dude, yeah, and and I mean things are slowly turning. It's just that that falling out, you know, it hurt. You know, and now was you know, it, especially it like hearing a, it. Oh, uh, I was about to ask like if it was like kind of a mutual like falling out, like a mutual part, like mutual parting of ways, or just like. Nah, it was, I, I kind of left. I actually left. Um, mainly because, I mean, I, yeah, I guess I, we just couldn't see the eye to eye, and that's all. And it's not, it, to me, that's not that bad. It's not, it's, um, yeah, it simply just can't see the eye to eye. That's all. And, yeah, I was placeless. I, 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 I thought I was going to quit because just like, man, I wanted to stay there. Um, especially hearing stuff, you know, um, especially, you know, from your coach that you consider as a respectable figure. Um, and then, yeah, when I went to go to the Twins, you know, there's so many places out there, Marcus. There's, there's a better experience for you. Um, I'm guessing, I, I, guess, I'm guessing um, they're, they're, I guess, I'm guessing that they're, 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 they're suggesting like, um, like alliance trilogy oh yeah they're all over the place yeah there's Cause, so cause many I, 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 I hear i hear about alliance like or i did I, I hear about alliance like quite often yeah there's so many gyms out there you know and i thought that it was the the ending for me because i've already been at too many gyms <laughs> like i was at uau went to technics went to gracie the allegiance honolulu that was my three my three p you know i did three yeah i went to three schools um and i was like man it's the end you know i in my opinion i thought it was the end now i'm talking to chris and he, he was like dude you just scratched the surface <laughs> and there's that's, so that's, much that's 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 why that's why i love that's why that's why i love coach chris man like he he like he he tell, he tells you shit straight like he he'll 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 find a way to like he he has such a he has such a unique way of like um just like like talk i don't say not purposely talk talking talking about it but he he just has that he just has that vibe he, he just has that very trusting vibe that you know what you're right yeah it's um and plus he told me you know he doesn't really care what flag i wave what language i speak or where i'm from he, he said you know what dude i'm not political you know and you know if you want to train just come and train. We have no, we have no bias. We have, um, we have nothing to worry about. Um, if you want to go train open mat, go train open mat. You know, I've seen I mean, you were at the Twins place for a bit. That's not a problem. And I was like, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, <laughs> you know. And um, he's been really nice ever since I joined. And I've still yet to meet, you know, more of the UFC gym family. I went, um, you know, I saw David Carter, Carter's dad, and um, oh, some of the. Oh, there's another three stripe white belt and some other uh new newer white belts that I saw, and they were all cool. All of them were cool. Um, Akeem, that blue belt, Akeem, the long hair guy. Akeem, Akeem is a Akeem is a homie, man. I, I, I like him. He has a he's, he's pretty funny. <laughs> you know, he's super chill too. Um, and uh, the purple belts that the three stripe purple belt, the one uh, the one with the straight hair. Oh, uh, uh and he's. Uh, He's kind of, kind of... He, he was coaching for a bit. Oh, Bryce. Chris... 
Yeah, that guy. He he's super cool too. He's really you know he's quiet when he speaks. You know, bro, and, he, and... bro never underestimate his silence because the second the second the dude speaks, the dude speaks. Yeah, and like he's um he's super nice too. You know, he has a really he's he's really, really nice um in persona and especially as jitsu he lets you play that's what i like you know i mean not, i'm not saying that i like everything given but yeah he lets you play you know he lets you play your spider he lets you play your inside x um or he lets you play your single x or x guard butterfly sweep anything he lets you play that he lets you play your bolo he's just gonna counter it <laughs> that's, that's why all. that's why like that that's why that's why that's why brace is like such a is such a is super cool to, to like roll with and um I, you know what's funny? I've been I've been telling myself like this for a while. Like, what? Like this year, I'm gonna make it to at, le- at least one 5 a.m. class. Oh, 5 a.m. classes! Is, oh yeah, I heard they have. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try make it to at least a 5 a.m. class. I don't know how many, but I'm gonna make one. <laughs> I've heard that US Gym had. Uh, it's pretty interesting. It's- Cause I I know I know it's I know cause I know five a.m. five a.m. classes are ran are ran Tuesday Thursdays the same yeah the same Tuesday Thursdays that um, fundamentals are actually run. Oh, interesting, interesting. So, and I know Monday Wednesdays is always the um the level level two or the advanced level. So. Oh uh, yeah, um I oh I thought Monday Wednesday was no. Okay, so how so how they so how how it works with um UC gym so, their stuff is gradually changing or it's great well i don't say gradually changing but um things are kind of like gradually coming back in a, in a way right like, like nogi classes yeah they don't have nogi classes right, right not now. yet not yet okay. not not yet but um i know that's that's in the that's in the talks however um so yeah ho- however uh yeah, so Monday Wednesdays are the advanced or level two. Take, take your poison. What? what <laughs> um. Yeah, th- those are well. Th- that's the ones. That's the ones that I I I've also been like. I'm not trying to make any excuses because because Monday Wednesdays are um are usually the um the po- the other podcast shows that I I gotta appear on 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 this channel. Right. Right. And. I, 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 t- I keep telling myself I'm gonna I'm gonna like I I want to I want to I I'm I'm hungry I I want I want to train for more I, like like I'll keep training until until I, until I hear that announcement about Naga or um, Triple Crown because right now like I heard from because because I, I heard I heard from um I heard from other people saying that November fifth is is the magic number but it's not mm. but again it's not fully confirmed yet. I just know that no- well, okay, not November fifth. Sorry. To much to make it much more make 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 much more sense of it. November is the magic month. It will happen. Right. Oh, yeah, and um, yeah, Tang and Tuan were were talking about it, especially if everyone's gonna compete or not, and we're we're you know doing a Wednesday barbecue, <laughs> and man. Everyone in that garage was like, "Oh yeah, I'm going. I'm gonna go see, or I'm gonna go watch. I'm gonna go fight. I'm gonna go compete." I was like, "Wow, everyone's doing it." <laughs> well, I, I, I wanted, I wanted more because I, well, purpose, well, personally, like, I wanted, I wanted, I wanted more because like, that opportunity was like, yeeted away from me last year. <laughs> Let me just say. Yeah, I like, see you. Like that shit got yeeted away. I'm like 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 shit man like I, I, was, I was like super ready and then because uh, let me tell you man training with a dummy or tra- training with a makeshift dun- make with a makeshift dummy yes you heard that right i had a makeshift dummy out of pillows <laughs> out of and pillows and t- yeah out, out of pillows t-shirts and what my my own green gi yeah that wasn't great at all during covid i, I ordered one from amazon and i thought it was pre-filled Oh yeah, so you, I, found, you, you found out the hard way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so next thing you know, my dummy was flaccid. I was like, "Bruh, what the hell?" So I stuffed half my wardrobe in it, <laughs> and I and I was like, "Oh, there's not. It's not enough." Oh my goodness, 
Brother. COVID was a weird time. COVID, I mean, we was making jujitsu dolls and everything. <laughs> Bruh, um, if I, I, I kind of, I, 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 next time I see, you, I, I gotta, I gotta show you this this funny way because I, I, I did a time lapse of making my dummy out of pillows and my old jitsu gi, and then I, I stuffed it. Right. Um, I don't know if I still have it, but, well, what was it? It wasn't this wrestling mask in particular. But, but what, I, what, what I what I did was like I put I put T-shirts inside a, inside this mask and use it as a head, mm. and then and it just and then when I when I put the gi over it or I put the gi over or I just um I kind of just like kind of like MacGyver just a head on top of it just to just like just like so it practice chokes, <laughs> just like just yeah. like just like so it practice chokes you know. <laughs> Or like a stuffed animal or something, yeah. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly the thing. Like, I, like that's what that. So I, I pretty, I pretty much just grab one of, yeah, I grab little, I grab one of my luchador mask and just like stuff some shirts in there, just, just so it looks like a head. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe. So, it actually worked. <laughs> it, it worked for the moment, and then some, and there'll be times where, where the head pops out like shit. Oh. Then you gotta adjust it. <laughs> I was like, oh, it worked. It worked for it worked for a little bit. Shit. I think I when um when COVID happened, went to Technics. Um, you could do solo drilling, yeah. Yeah. Or um, you could bring someone with the same household in. Um. I went to Jits, and I went to do my dummy training. So. Oh, basically, my dummy consisted of uh my zip up jacket. I put. <laughs> two uh four pillows four little cushions in there mm. and then i um i put like a stuffed animal in the in the head part where the where the hoodie is right <laughs> so the little unicorn face thing popped up <laughs> and then you know it's really big and thick looking and <laughs> um so i used towels for the hands right um i rolled them up and um and then i tied my belt over it you know, after zipping it up, makes so sense, with the gi, I did, I did that so too. I'll, so I was like, oh, set, right? So now I'm I'm drilling like passes without his legs, right? I'm just making imaginary legs, I guess. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I did that too. I did that too. Well, you, you know, you know, for the arms. Um, okay. Yeah. So yeah, what'd you use for the arms? <laughs> I don't know. I use okay. towels. So I work. Um, uh, I I work. So my my day job. I, I work I work in I work in Schofield, um, Missouri uh-huh. base, and I and I work I work on I work on the residential homes there. Oh, interesting. And um, so, I I change I, ch- we off I often change water heaters a lot, and oh yeah that that first of all that that's a pain in the ass. But, oh god. Yeah, that, it, it's it's such a long process just just to do, but anyway, um any anytime anytime we get like a new water. I open up. I bust open a new water heater. They always leave out um, foam for the for the for the pipes, and ten nine times out of ten, we don't even use the foam on the pipes. So what I did was like I I've been, oh. I've been, I've been collecting I've been collecting a lot of the the, um, the thick foam, and I just took it home and I used it and I and I put the I put the thick foam in the in in the gi jack in in the gi to make it look like arms. Ho <laughs> ho. No way. So, dude, your at least your arms work better than mine. Mine fell out. <laughs> 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 and like, any time I tried to, um, like the problem with my dummy is, of course, a belt would untie. You know, when you're rolling. Of course. So, I'm doing my side control stuff, and you know the unicorn starts falling apart. And pillows are coming out from the bottom, <laughs> and like next thing you know, <laughs> I'm cleaning up the four pillows <laughs> that I had in my dummy. It's all on the mat. <laughs> oh man! It looked like I was setting up for like a a sleepover at the gym or something. <laughs> <laughs> like that's what it looked like. I had my doll, I had my towels, I had my jacket. <laughs> oh shit, dude! Oh my man. my dummy did not work. Until I ordered the flaccid one, I had to put half my wardrobe in. That one didn't work either because it started to tear. So I was Bruh, like, man, I, I, I gotta, I, I, I know one of these days I'm, I'm just gonna order the that, 
I'm gonna order just one of those um like flaccid dummies. <laughs> Which uh, oh yeah, you can put your foam in it. The foam. That's why I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna order I'm just gonna order it. I'm just gonna just gonna. St- I have a lot of old T-shirts. So I'm just gonna stuff the shit out of that thing. I know. I ha- I mean, I had a lot of old clothes too, but half of them, bro, I still wanted to use. Uh... <laughs> so I got all sad. I was like, oh man, damn. It's, it's, would I risk being naked on the street or would I risk <laughs> doing jujitsu? <laughs> so I was like, okay, here's the plan: put it in my dummy, use it for an hour, take it out, wash it, I'll use it for tomorrow. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> so I'll, so I had to I had to I had to use it and after that later on they're like oh you can do pod man training now I'm like oh you're the best <laughs> pod man wait, wait what's pod man training oh so like you had five people and one pod and it's um you're six feet away spread out in techniques and then off you get you get your five people and then some other got some other people have like their five you know, people to train with, and you only right. train with those five people. Um, that was when COVID was pretty bad. You know, mm-hmm. yeah. And you had well, that, was, that. That honestly, that's a lot. Be- that's a lot better than um, trying to trying to do drills through a Zoom call because Zoom was the. St- I'm I'm sorry. I'm just gonna say it right now, but Zoom is the stupidest thing. I. I don't know. <laughs> Like honestly, God, like Zoom is like is is like the stupidest thing to like ever exist. Or like Skype, yeah. Or Skype, like what the fuck? Well, no, here's the thing with Zoom. It's like you you only had like one hour to do the drills. I'm like, shit, could have like like you know a couple more hours. Right. And yeah, then- and um, yeah, I mean, especially um, yeah, I was doing, I was actually doing Zoom too. My Wi-Fi wasn't that good, so like my professor would end up one position, right? We were learning Spider Guard. Yeah. And then um Yeah. I messed up and then <laughs> next thing you know he's in the next position. I'm like, bruh, I swear you were like well, how are you on your back now? You was just on your knees, man. What's going on? Okay. See over here? Like in the back I I was training up I was training upstairs in my room. Now keep in mind, I, n- I never I I never purchased mats yet. Ah, oh, yeah. hard ground. That's yeah. I learned I learned I learned I learned the fucking the fucking hard way of like training on hard ground, which is the. And then later on, it, but you know you know what sucked like you know what sucked at the time. Wait, who's uh huh. Oh hey, it's Jesse. Wow, is he is he coming on the show now? Oh, oh hang on, is this Jesse? Oh no, okay. That... Oh, just left. Oh, oh. No. wait, he's back. Hi, Jess. Is Jesse coming on? Yeah. Wow. Is hey. he hear me? Yeah. Oh, can... there. Now, now I can hear him now. Wow. What? What? A, what? A... How do you get on the? Oh, you're you're here. Well, you here. Uh, you're here, dude. Let me. Uh. Wow. This is a. This is a first. All right. <laughs> this is a little. Oh. <laughs> what did I miss? What did I miss? Uh, well, so, so for the past, so for, so for, so basically for like the past hour, um, we, we, me and, me and Marcus, we, we talked, we, we talked, we talked about our origins. We talked about, um, our, our, our favorite, our favorite people that we love to watch. Like, um, wow. Yeah. Like, like, our favorite, our favorite people to watch, like I told him, like I was, I, 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 I've now became like a big fan of Mike Musumichi. Oh, okay. You know, and then we, and then uh, Marcus here actually also covered his, um, also, also covered the, uh, how he got, how, how he actually um, transitioned over to UFC Jim White Kelly, which me, which made me like, which made me like super ecstatic and happy like whoa what the heck <laughs> yeah now you got a buddy nice <laughs> nice nice were you training tonight with the guys yes i was oh man How are you guys it? coming tomorrow are you guys coming tomorrow tomorrow probably i probably won't be there sadly oh yeah i went to get my heel checked out i should be okay i'm just not i'm just gonna not play on it not put too much weight on it 
How's um how's um Troy's um OnlyFans rash guard? <laughs> yeah, no, I saw in the story he had um man, there's especially there's another one that says choke hub. And then yeah. there's another one. I'm not sure, but Bro, man, I, that only only fans one. I oh, want, that's going crazy. I want that rash guard. I, I fucking want that rash guard, dude. That's what he would say. Uh, that's the one um, that uh, Craig Jones had on, right? When yeah. he fought. Oh yeah. Wow, man, Craig wearing any kind of no. <laughs> <laughs> Sucking Craig. <laughs> nah, man, it's it's interesting. <laughs> so oh man but yeah so wait am, am i am i on this podcast too or uh are you are you recording the show now i'm i'm, I'm re re recording the show now yeah okay okay sorry sorry yeah <laughs> it's okay no it's good th th thank you for, thank I know how this stuff work no but thank you thank you for stopping by dude Pre i pre appreciate it man can i listen to you can i listen to part of your show yeah. Well, I actually, actually, actually want, actually want to get, get you, get you on, get you on for the the next episode, man. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't know why you want to talk to me. I got nothing to say. No, I, I, I can, I can. No, honestly, Jesse, like. Kyle, we gotta bring Kyle. Oh on. yeah, no, no, no. We're we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna grow this show day by day. So. Nice. We're we're gonna we're gonna grow we're gonna show grow the show one one day at a time. So. The, the more the more I, I get this thing um established like it's gonna it's gonna be like def, it's definitely gonna be like up there you know yeah yeah so but yeah did you, um, get, did you get to talk about uh his competition in florida we yet? did we did oh i missed it shoot yeah. but no you, you, you'll you be able to catch the replay so and, and okay, okay. And, and, and also for um, er, everyone else on on the show you, you guys will also be able to catch the replay and also um i will i will have the um audio version upload to spotify as well wow so oh, nice so we're, we're so i'm 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 we're we're gonna, we're gonna be so this is gonna be this is gonna be a up this is this is gonna be a um work in progress but but yeah but again uh jesse yeah dude if i if i can get you get you on for another episode just you and me man i'll i'll, I'll love to do, do do an episode with you can we do like like the same thing like a bunch of people or or is it just better to have two people Personally, like I, I always like to do my shows. Like I, I always like to do a show like this. Like what me, what me and Marcus just did in within the hour and a half. Like, I, oh, wait. So I'm, I'm interrupting then, basically. No, what you say? No, uh, I don't want to say interrupting. I, I, I'd say, I'd say you, you just, you just kind of just jumped in at, at a perfect timing because I, I was about. No, I just. No, I just thought my email said that there's a message earlier, right? So I was like, oh, I better go check it. So I went to go check it. Yeah. So, but, but no worry. Um, I'm. I'm 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 we're I'm, I'm we're 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 we're, we're, we're we're building it so you know it, nice nice so but again dude I, dude again I I, pre I appreciate for you jumping in man I love love you man that thank you appreciate it right on did you get to see uh Marcus did you show him the video that I that I put on your flash drive or your phone oh yeah when I was rolling with the the twins yeah yeah the whole bunch of them would you guys uh, review that or. Or you guys already did something um, like that already? No, nah, we 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 basically we basically just you know kind of just like we we me me and Marcus we you know we talk we we had a, we had a good we had we had a gr great talk man that was uh, I say I say it was a very very fruitful talk. Or maybe we can you know have a part two. Oh yeah, definitely we can definitely do a part two. We can definitely do a part two to this. What about the uh, what about his um <laughs> what about his uh his DVD? <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Okay, part two then. Yeah, we part can, two, we'll, part we'll, two. We'll definitely do part two. And if you want, and Jesse, listen, you want you want to be part of part two? I I welcome it, man. Yeah. Because I can give a. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. We gotta bring George then. <laughs> oh, oh man. Hey, I, hey, if he's down, dude, let's 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 let's, let's set it up. Maybe all three of us, all four of us, talk about this, but then not mention names, but just kind of yeah. like talk about, you know, you know, just like what happened, just it, just this mysterious person right. that burned all of us. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good topic. Oh yeah, def dude, definite, definite. So, but anyways, yeah, 
Hey, Marcus, uh, dude, thank you, thank you, thank you for being, first of all, being, being my very first guest, man. I, 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 appreciate, I, I appreciate you coming out. And Jesse, thank you, thank you for coming out, coming out as well. Um, I'll, Sorry, I didn't know, I didn't know how this thing worked. I was just like, what is this? So I just clicked on it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's pretty much it, so. But yeah. No, but, yeah. Um, thank you for having me. Um, it really, really got to let some of it out. And it uh, feels really good to, to kind of let everyone know um, what to be aware of and uh, what it's like. It's giving us some secondhand experience. And um, it really made me feel a little, a little more closed uh, about my feelings and being able to let it out and and let everyone know that, you know, they're not alone on the journey. And yeah. Um, it's been really nice. It's been really nice to be to be able to talk to you, man. Oh. Sorry, I came a little late though. <laughs> yeah, it's it's all it's all good. You know what? I I, I know I know we were, we were supposed to premiere this like this this past Monday, but I I I I'm honestly I under, I understand like the like the, the ske- um, scheduling. It's 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 gonna be it's gonna be a challenge, but you know it's one of those challenges that you know what? I can I accept that. I can I can I can handle that. You know. Yeah, man. Thank you for having the patience. I really appreciate it. But yeah, definitely. Um, uh, if you get if you guys are down, uh, um, if if you guys are down to do do a part two someday, be be more be more than welcome. Um, but yeah, again, uh, for everyone, thank thank you guys for uh, thank you guys for watching the very first episode of the So to Speak podcast. Uh, I'll, I'll update the I'll update the current links that you see on 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 YouTube, and um, also. Also, do join our Discord server, and if you if you also have um, we'll, we'll also introduce some other uh, some other some other things in, into the show. But till then, uh, again, Marcus, thank you, Jesse, thank 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 you, thanks for thanks for jumping in. But till then, sorry, thank you. No, pre- <laughs> oh man, there, no no problem, all, man. Again, you guys, thank thank you guys so much. Uh, but till then, um, goodbye and good night boing all right till then we'll hopefully we'll get a part two thanks thanks for watching yes, everyone sir all right thank you